Greetings, this is the Timeshare Traveler, and today I'm reviewing the studio at Marbrissa by Hilton Grand Vacations in Carlsbad, California. It's about 40 minutes north of the San Diego airport. So I'm going to go through the room, the pools, and I've broken it by the point network and the cove network. So you can sort of see the two different areas separated it out. Um, and, but before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about my channel, and then we'll go right into the details. Hi, my name is Cliff and I'm the Timeshare Traveler. The purpose of this channel is to provide education and knowledge for those interested in timeshares. I've been a timeshare owner for over 15 years. I'm an elite owner with Marriott Vacation Club, Hilton Grand Vacations, and Worldmark by Wyndham. I've also posted over 70 timeshare video reviews of different locations, and I've posted 40 timeshare video tips. Uh, please don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button below and I can be found at Timeshare Trav on Twitter and Facebook and my website is www.timesharetraveler.com. This is the Hilton Grand Vacations in Marbrisa in the Point Network and this is a studio unit uh, video. First, well, as you first come in, this is what you see. Um, just to the right is the bathroom and has your standard toilet, vanity, and a separate bathtub from the shower. And here you have the shower here. And it's uh, pretty standard enclosed, pretty good sized shower. And it's got a nice closet here with all the towels. Heading back toward the kitchen slash living room. This does have a pull-out um, bed in it. You can see that it pulls out here by lifting it out. I won't go through that, but just wanted to let you know that exists. Also has a closet out here in the entry. And there's a microwave, coffee maker, and a mini fridge here, as well as all the utensils coffee cup, knives, forks, and so forth. So plenty of, for two people. And it's got a huge TV and a ceiling fan to stay cool at night. And then it's got a balcony. And this is one of the new buildings, building 80. So it's uh, above the other buildings in the Point Network. And it has a nice little patio with uh, two chairs as well as here's the view and you can actually see the ocean um, far off in the distance here can't quite see the sunset from this angle but you can see the ocean and the view across um, Carlsbad area there you have the view of the Hilton Grand Vacations at Marbrisa and the Point Network or Studio unit. Marissa, the building 80, they have a uh, fire pit area just for the area and they have a quite large hot tub, plenty of nice seating around it. In addition there's a barbecue set up and a place to sit and a place to get your towels. And the girls are really good. Haven't been clean yet this morning but um, you see the upper and lower deck. Again, this is uh, in the Point Network, Building 80. In the Point Network, the laundry is a shared space. So here's the washer and dryer located by the ice machine, and they're located throughout the property. Here's the main pool in the Point area of the Hilton Grand Vacation in Marbrisa. You can see plenty of places to sit. Also has a nice uh, fire pit area as well as plenty of places with umbrellas and the kind of really cool thing I like are these large splooshy chairs here that you can sit underneath the sh in the shade depending on where the sun is. There's two of them and then there's a hot tub area here as well as, it's not currently on, but there's a play water 
fountain kind of area where the water comes down from that uh, like mushroom like looking device. There's small um, area for kids called the imagination station and these look like paintings that um, kids have done that are hung up on the wall. There's a little game here, air, I guess it's an air hockey type thing, game that you can play. It's located in the point network, point area of the Marbrisa. Here's the grill section within the point area. There's two of them here. And again, very similar grills as what I said before. Um, there they are. They have upper and lower. I believe this is bocce ball they have here as well. And they have large fire pits here with plenty of chairs. And then there's another set of grills. And yet one more set of fire, another fire pit right by the bocce ball. Again, this is all in the point network, which you can see the units there and here as well. And then off in the distance there. Here's one of the pool areas in the cove, which is the main area. It's got a water slide. Fairly large pool with lots of places to hang out and enjoy. Here's more of the adult pool in the cove area. And if you like hammocks or places to sit in shaded areas, you want to come to the cove area and grab yourself a hammock. Also in the cove area, here's a fire pit. And they often have live music around this one on various days, but you can see it's quite a large one area. And although it's not open right now, they do have a the Cove Bar and Grill that's open from about now, 11, sorry, 11.30 to, to 8 p.m. And you can get drinks, uh, snacks like hamburgers, french fries, and ice cream. And here's more of an adults only hot tub at the quiet zone as it was called. And they have a hot tub right here. And plenty of seating and even some nice couches to relax and enjoy. And you're very close to the main pool, just right behind it in a more secluded, quiet area. Here's an example of one of the hot tubs in the cove area. Um, there are multiple in the area, but here's an example of one of them. In the cove area, they have multiple ping pong sets and foosball sets to play as well. Here's an example of one of the uh, grill areas in the cove located between two buildings. Also though, has a nicer view. You can see across the Legoland, but also you can see toward the ocean. Here's the fitness center at the Marbrisa. It's in the um, network by the main pool, the Cove network. We've got plenty of treadmills and extra cycles and ellipticals as well as two rowing machines and a full sort of single multiple use uh, weight machine. But in addition, they've got some pretty good machines. They've got the bench press machine on the, the more of the pre-core uh, model, as well as the overhead press, pull down, and the two leg machines, which is very rare in a fitness center today timeshare to have this level of equipment. And then they have the dreaded scale over in the corner. So if you want to see how you're doing, um, you can do that too. In the center that's outside. The cost to stay in the point network in a studio is 5,600 points. That translates to about $800 or about $115 a night.